Hi Aqua, welcome back to Dream Tarot. I'm here to do your next 48 singles read. All right, just gonna see what's going on with all my single Aquas for the next 48 hours. Who's coming towards you and any advice? Jesus, Aqua, I was just giving y'all a show. First of all, first of all, you single bitches and motherfuckers out there. This is not a free show, okay? So don't, don't think I was... <laughs> so I don't know if y'all going to a strip club you could have been to a strip club lately because I literally was just showing you, like, if I would have just, like, stretched a little bit, you would have seen full nipple aqua. So I was literally just, I feel strip club energy, okay? Before we even get started in the reading, let me do my intro first, aqua, before you just shove your dollars up my fucking bra, okay? <laughs> so... We're going to be doing a singles read for my aqua. What's going on with you for the next 40 hours? Who's coming towards you and any advice that spirit has for you in your single journey? Because, you know, us singles, we need advice sometimes to see what are we doing wrong if we're looking for love or what can we approve before this new person comes into our life, right? So I'm going to be doing all of that for you guys. Um, I wrote it down. Yeah. kind of need this. I need this paperwork over here, okay? It's kind of important. If it will stay, Jesus. All right, there we go. All right. Anyway, Aqua, if this resonates with you or if you just simply enjoy yourself here with me today, please thumbs up the video. It helps me out a lot. It keeps this video, keeps this video circulating, you know, to other Aquas out there. It can help somebody else and also helps my channel grow. So I appreciate each and every one of your likes. Comment a moon down below for Dream Tarot and subscribe to my channel for your next 48 coming out in a couple days. <sighs> Keep in mind, this is a general reading. If you want a personal, all that information is down in the description box below. I also have an Instagram. If you want to follow that, that's also in the description box below. All right. Let's get into this reading. You guys have been waiting long enough. Nowhere to Run is playing. Okay, so let's see what's going on with my Aqua singles for the next 48 hours. Also, happy birthday, Aqua. I always forget. I don't know why I keep doing y'all like that. I feel like that's a lot of people around you right now. They forget that your birthday is right now because you're so quiet. You're so, you stay too much, so much to yourself, Aqua. You, you're not one of those people when your birthday comes around, you're not like boasting it. You're not like, my birthday's coming up and this, this and that and I'm doing, you know, you're very quiet. You only tell your friends. That's the only people that you get excited for. So it's like, there's a lot of people who forget that your birthday's coming up, but they're going to tell you. They might even say, happy belated, Aqua. I'm sorry, I forgot your birthday, but it's really because you're so quiet, Okay. What's coming towards my single aquas for the next 40 hours? What's coming towards them for the next, um, like, what's their next 48, basically? What's going on with my single aquas for the next 48 hours? What's going on with my single aquas for the next 48 hours? Also, I want to let you guys know that because I do single readings, I really just do it for you guys because you guys always ask, hey, can you do single readings? Can you do single readings? I'm doing it for you guys, but my 48 hours, that's for everybody. And I know it channels a lot of people's like ex energy or whoever they're dealing with if you're in a relationship. But the thing is, it's just the energy. So don't get mad at me because your ex keeps popping up in your energy, okay? Those readings are still your readings, but... um, Sorry. If you're over that, you know, I'll do these single readings once a month that's all i can promise you because trying to do back to back and work a full-time job and and go to school that's a that's a problem for me okay but one day i will be able to do all of this however you guys like without a problem without a time restraint so we're gonna be praying on that time to come soon but for right now just appreciate your um singles reading it's going to be pushed out once a month okay i'm sorry guys but it's just the truth all right, so anyway, let's see what's going on with my single aquas. What's happening in their life for the next 48 hours? And of course, you guys are done first because it's your birthday. You're the king and queen. Happy birthday, king or queen aqua, okay? So of course, you guys go first. Y'all skip the line, all right? So let's see what's going on. What's going on with my single aquas? Please, for the next 40 hours, give me some card spirit. All right, let's see. All right, so you have the moon card, and what's the second card that's going to come out? Ten of wands. Okay. Hmm. All right. Oh, oh, oh. Jesus Christ. All right, sorry. 
These are coming out. Um, these are about to fall because I have so many decks up right now. All right, so you have the moon card and the ten of wands. What I'm getting, Aqua, for real, is that there's a lot of secrets hidden from you, okay? I'm going to light a sensuality incense for you because I feel like you're real in your sensuality right now. It's your birthday, so you better be in sensuality. You better be, you know, having a little fun, okay? So you have the moon card and the ten of wands. You could be dealing with the Sagittarius or you completed a cycle with the Sagittarius. You and the Sagittarius just completed a cycle. Cycle? Cycle? I don't know why I said that. You also have the um, a Cancer in your energy too, but it's like this Cancer has a lot of secrets. Or this could be the same person we're talking about. It doesn't have to be a Cancer or a Sag, but this person has a lot of secrets. You ended things with this person because you feel like they're so secretive. They try to act like, oh, I ain't got no secrets, but you know better. You know this person has secrets, Aqua? So this could be the, your ex. This could be someone that you're trying to let go to move forward. You're ready for new. You don't want to date this person anymore. All right, what's the moon card? What's the moon card for Aqua? My single Aquas for the next 48. What's the moon card? The star card. You could be the one with the secrets, Aqua. And it's not even real secrets. This could just be you just being very um, conservative with your life. So you're not telling people what you're doing. You're not telling people who you're dealing with. This could even be your ex who's all up. You could still be dealing with your ex, but you're not letting them know who you're dealing with or what you're doing because it's none of their fucking business, right? Nine of Wands is here too. So it's like also you're being very secretive about your sex life. Aqua, you could sit at me and look like, you know what's so funny? You're watching this video and you're looking for, you're trying to see what's coming towards you as a single. But what I'm getting is that you still have options, but you don't, you don't want any of your options, Aqua. You are so over these motherfuckers. <laughs> you still, you still might be fucking them, but you're like, yeah. I'm not really interested anymore. Hi, Priestess. Your instinct is telling you to move on from these people, okay? We don't want the Piscean, a Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or another Aquarius like yourself. All right, let's clarify some of these cards for you. What's the High Priestess? What's the High Priestess for Aqua? What's the High Priestess, please? Three of Swords. Yeah, so they're... There's someone that you're dealing with still right now that they, they broke your heart. You know that this person's not for you. Not of wands, but you still keep fucking them. You keep still keep having sex with them. Exhaustion, but this this exhausts you. This relationship, this person exhausts you. So you don't even know why you're still doing that. You don't you don't know why you're still even in this connection anymore. Ten of wands could be a Sagittarius you're ending things with, or you're completing. You're ready to let go of this person. So ten of wands for um Single Aquas, next 48, please. That's a lot of cards. Was a Ten of Wands for single Aquas, please? Four of Wands. Ooh. The Well card. This could be someone that you were in a marriage with or engaged with. You called off the engagement because you knew this person wasn't for you. Also, this is someone that could have lived with you or you feel like you and this person could have had a foundation together, but you just feel like this person is so sneaky. I can't fuck with them anymore. Also, you've been holding back from this person, Aqua, because you're trying to move forward. You do have love for this person, but you're like, I'm ready. To, I, you want to date other people, and that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. Four of Wands. Queen of Swords, yeah, you're being very, very cold to this person right now, or you're you're taking your energy back from the person. So you're you're just like, stay over there. I'm over here. Okay, what's the well card? What's the well card? The fool. Yeah, you're ready for a new beginning. That's why you're holding back from this old person that you've been dealing with. All right, so yeah, you're ready for a new beginning. Point blank, period person hurts you y'all been through some bullshit together you kept forgiving them but it's like y'all beating a dead horse let it go and move on so let's see um what's um coming towards you actually let's see what's coming towards you <laughs> all right so what's coming towards my single aquas please give me some cards what's coming towards my single aquas what's coming towards my single aquas What's coming towards my single aquas? A 
Sagittarius temperance card or equal give and take? If it's not a Sagittarius, it's someone who's going to be giving you equal give and take. What else? The Fool card, another Aquarius or a new beginning in love. Okay, so this is a completely new beginning, a completely different, a completely different or new person from what you're dealing with. So if you're used to dealing with the same type of people, someone completely different is coming into your life now. What else? Four of Swords, Libra energy. Okay, a Libran could be coming into your life, but this could also be like you you had to you need to take time to yourself, or you did take time to yourself. You've been kind of in hermit mode as well. You've been just staying to yourself, staying in the house, kind of becoming a recluse. As soon as you step off the fucking house, Aqua, boom, this person, you meet them. As soon as you get up, I feel like you've been sitting in the same spot for days. So like, yeah, you go to your bed for um to go to to go to sleep or you might not even you might just you might sit on the couch all day and you sleep on the couch but if that's not the case you go to bed but when you get out of bed you sit in the same spot all day you've been a recluse because of this this ex person but as soon as you get out the house you're gonna meet somebody so get the fuck out the house what's a temperance card the world card there could be a Sagittarius that you thought that you ended shit with the world card this person also wears a mask like they don't even want you anymore and you believed it too so this Sagittarius is very crafty <laughs> this Sagittarius is very crafty you thought that y'all were done y'all are not done this person is coming right back around if that if there's no Sagittarius that you're dealing with then there's this there's somebody who wants to give you equal give and take but when you first meet this person seven of cups you're not going to think that about them. You're going to think they're a player. So this could be someone you meet literally for the first time, but their energy gives off player, but when you get to know them, they're going to be they're going to be actually your equal. The world card, what's the world card? I need to clarify that card. What's the world card? Two of Swords. So yeah, this is someone too. They act like a player. They think like a player. So even when they conversate with you, you're like this is a whole player, but it's all an act. Is all the seven of cups. This person's there. It's all an act. And yeah, this person blocks their emotions. But the thing is too, Aqua, I just did a reading for you where we talk about how you block your emotions too until you're, you know, to yourself where you can really dig in deep, dig deep. I feel like when you're in your room, four walls is playing for you right now. So it's like when you're in four, four walls, when you're within your room, that's when you let your emotions out. But if you're not within this room, this safe, this safe place, this sanctuary, you hold your um, emotions in. This person is just like you. They do the same. So you can read straight through them because you know this person because they're like you. Okay? Even if you act like a player, but you're really not... Set, um, I was going to say Sag. This could be a Sagittarius. Even if you act like a player and you're really not Aquarius, you know that this person really is. They could fall in love very easily because you, they act just like you. You're like, hmm, okay. What's the full card? Okay, Aquarius energy, which is so funny. So you could be dealing with another Aquarius. Maybe that's why, remember I just said that this person is just like you, okay? So you can read them so easily. So I feel like this could be another Aquarius, but you you want a new beginning here, okay? So this could be none of your exes. You're meeting someone for the first time. What's the full card, please? What's the full card for my aquas, my single aquas for who's coming towards them? Two of Wands. This also too, Aqua. I feel like you were dealing with more than one person in the past, but there was out of the two options that you had, you had two options. One of them you really loved. You you like their dirty drawers. You love this person. You would do anything for them, but they keep fucking you over. So now you're giving the. I'm childish. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm childish, Aqua. You see, I have ADHD. That's how quick my mind is just like, whatever. But anyway, you have a second op option, right? This is the section, second option. This person, you didn't give the time of day. Now you're going to give them the time of day. This could be your your person. This could actually be your person. And you were playing them like they weren't shit. But when you get to know this person, they're going to actually be for you. Hmm. Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. This could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This person, too, when you put them on a back burner, they didn't give a fuck because they have their own life going on. So this person is, like, good. They're Gucci. They're very independent, too. That might help because your last relationship could have been codependent. So this this could be a really good thing for you. What's the Two of Wands? Two of Wands. 
turning in. Yeah, this is the person you refuse to talk to. You ignore them. You would ghost them. Or you just leave them on red all the time. This is that person. You and this person would really get along very well. But you, because you were infatuated with your other option, you didn't really give this person the time of day. If you give them the time of day now, y'all are going to click like this. What's the Queen of Wands? Empress, yeah, this person is a fire sign. It could be a fire sign, but I feel like this person is gonna be. You're gonna be infatuated with them. Also, if you were, if you were so up your ex person's ass because of their sex, this person's sex is even better. All right, you have the four of swords here. It could be a Libran, or this could be you. Once you stop sitting in the same spot every day and actually go out. Also, I see a bike that hasn't been used. Go go exercise. Go use your bike down your neighborhood. Go go down the street. If you live in a city, go ride your bike. You're going to meet somebody on the street. You're going to meet a jogger or something. That person is going to be a Libra. You're going to really fall for this person. Y'all going to have something to talk about too because you just got out the house riding your bike. This person jogs every fucking day. They're going to give you advice about exercise or about health with the Four of Swords. I think the Empress just came out again. This could be a Tauren even. But this person, you're going to be highly infatuated with this person. Once you get up off your ass and get the fuck outside. Two of Swords too and Decisiveness. Why are you being indecisive? Let's see. What's the Two of Swords? Oh, because you're still thinking about your past person. You don't want to move on. That's so like an Aqua. Y'all are so loyal. So loyal to the, to the detriment of yourselves. So you can meet this new person or you're scared to go out and meet new people because you want to deal with this ex person. You need to get off off your ass. If you, you're really going to sit in, in the house and wait on this person, really. Or you might not give this new person the time of day because you're still stuck over your ex. That's okay, you know, whatever. But you're, you're watching the singles reading for a reason. You know what I'm saying? What's the Empress card? Fighting. Yeah, stop fighting this connection with this person. This person is going to be very beautiful. Th their sex is going to be great. They're going to be a good person. You might even invite this person to your house. Y'all might even have sex on the first encounter. It's so good, but you still won't give this person the time of day because you're stuck on your ex. Stop fighting the connection. Get to know this person. It's okay. You and your ex are not even committed. You're not even in a relationship. Why are you waiting on this person? All right, Aqua. <laughs> Let's see what's going on. Hold on. Nice like this too. So it's like you could even invite this new person over for a night of fun. And then you guys get drunk and you immediately think about your ex. And you're thinking about your ex and you're just like, oh, I want my ex so bad. So if you know that you're stuck on your ex, maybe you need to do some things to get over your ex, you know, before going to meet this new person. Because I feel like this new person is your person, but you're not going to appreciate them until you get over your ex, Aqua, okay? All right, so now we're going to get some cards for advice for you guys, okay? Let's get some advice for you. Actually, I'm not going to use this big boy deck. Let's get some advice for my Aquas. What's some advice for singles, for Aqua singles, for the, you know... When they're looking for love or moving into their next destiny, what's some advice for them? Give me some advice, Spirit, for our Aqua Singles. Wow. I'm only supposed to pull three cards for this. Four came out. So that's that says something. You also have the um, King of Wands and the Emperor right next to each other. Which means you need to take control of something. So I'm going to pull a card to clarify both. You also have the Ten of Cups here and the Hermit card. So this is... I already know what the Hermit is. You've been in the house too much. How do you expect to meet anybody new or meet anybody of substance being in the house? Get your ass out the house, Aqua. You guys are adventurers. I know that rule is Sagittarius, which is funny because Sagittarius kept coming up in your reading for who you might meet. You might meet a Sagittarius, so maybe the Sagittarius will get you out the house. But it's like, you need to be more adventurous like a Sagittarius, okay? Like the Temperance card. Go explore. Go out to your favorite bar. Go out to your favorite restaurant. Go eat some good food. Go to your favorite spirituality store. Go, get up the fuck out the house. Go to Starbucks. Go somewhere. Shit. Go to Home Depot. Shit. Go somewhere. The fuck is wrong with you? You just sit in the fucking house in the same spot all the fucking time. Especially if you work from home. Get the fuck out the house. Ten of Cups. What's a Ten of Cups? Ten of... 
Ten of Swords. Okay, so something hurt you really bad in the past. You're holding back because you want, you really do want this. You want the Ten of Cups, but because of the Ten of Swords, you won't allow yourself to look for the Ten of Cups. Stop. Stop that. What else for the Ten of Cups? Stop. Get your ass up and go find that shit. Completion. You think that love is not made for you? Are you fucking stupid, Aquarius? Are you dumb? Love is made for you. You are love. You know what I'm saying? Not to curse you guys out, I'm sorry, but I'm just so annoyed by your energy right now. It's so pessimistic. And I'm an optimistic sign. My sun sign is very optimistic. So just this energy is like, I want to slap you guys. <laughs> but I'm going to kiss you after I slap you. I'm like, okay. Okay. <laughs> I don't mean it. But I want to like wake you up like, bitch, get the fuck up. Or guy, wake up. Because I feel like you're so pessimistic about love. But there's love right around the corner for you. You just... You're letting whatever happened to you in the past with your ex or whatever, you're letting it put a damper on what can come for you. There's so many opportunities. I feel like you're going to miss it because you feel like completion. You feel this way, so you're going to miss all these opportunities. What's the King of Wands and the Emperor card? What is that supposed to mean for Aqua singles? The Lovers. Control. Okay, yeah. King of Wands, Emperor. Controlling. Uh, are you a controlling lover, Aqua? Are you someone who you don't want to be, um, you don't want to deal with love or unless you know what the outcome is going to be? You need to stop that. You're so scared to get hurt again because of what happened in the past. But the thing is, you can't, your next lover, they could have really good intentions, but you being so forceful and controlling because you're scared to get hurt, that's going to scare them away. So let go of control. Let things be as they want to be. Just go outside. You don't have to go outside for love. Just go outside for yourself. Go have a drink for yourself. Go have some food for yourself. Go shopping for yourself. You know what I'm saying? Go do things for yourself. You're going to meet someone in the process. You're not going outside saying, oh, I'm going to go meet my lover today. And if it doesn't happen this way, then fuck love. No, go outside for yourself. You know what I'm saying? Aqua, you rule travel. Travel outside of your fucking apartment. Travel outside your fucking house. Travel outside your room. Do something, my nigga. Like, shit. All right, the hermit card is here too. What's the hermit? Traveling. Yes. What did I just say? Travel. Travel, baby. Get the fuck out the house, you fucking hermit. What's up with you? Oh, my God, Aqua. I'm sorry to yell at you guys like that, but even me. I, I film in my room every day, and y'all probably like, damn, this bitch, she just sit in the room. Bitch, no, I don't. Actually, I don't. And I'm a loner. I'm a loner, okay? But guess what I do? I take myself on dates. I take myself on shopping sprees. I take myself to the spirituality store. I take my myself out for a drink. I take myself out for a hookah. I don't give a fuck, because guess what? I'm going to live my life, bitch. Are you? Okay. So, Aqua, get the fuck out the house to meet your next soulmate if you're ready for love or you're ready for a new friendship or a deep connection. Get the fuck out the house and do stuff that you like. There's so many things that you like, Aqua. There's a lot of things that you like. Go do that. Go do it by yourself. You're your best friend. Go do it, okay? I love you guys. If I was in your city, I would drag you out the house, but I'm not probably, I'm probably not in your city and me and you don't know each other like that, but Aqua, I really want to come pick you up like, Get the fuck in, loser. We're going shopping. <laughs> but, Aqua, I love you guys so much. This is your singles reading. If you enjoyed it, please thumbs up the video for me. Comment a moon down below for Dream Tarot. And subscribe to my channel for your next 48 coming out in a couple of days. Also, um, if you want a personal reading, all of the information is down in the description box below. And my Instagram is also in the description box below if you want to follow that. I love you guys so much. I'll see you very soon. Happy birthday to all my aquas. See you soon. Bye-bye.